This is a Squiz Kids podcast, your fresh take on what's happening in the world around you. Squiz Kids Book Club with me, Catch the Reading Bug, and my crew of reviewers. parents, teachers and librarians, but sometimes kids just want to hear from other kids about what's fun to read. The Squiz Kids Book Club podcast only has book reviews written and recorded by kids. If my crew loves a book, they'll tell you all about it. If they don't, they'll tell you why. I'm Catch the Reading Bug. And I'm Christy Kidgerina. Wow, Catch, what a month it's been. Our book club books have been jam-packed full of mystery and suspense. More on those in a bit. And this week was book week. I love your very hungry caterpillar costume, by the way. It looks fantastic. Yep, it sure does. Children's book week has had a different theme every year since way back in 1945. And the theme for book week 2023 is read, grow, inspire. Because as Dr. Zeus says in one of my favourite books, I can read with my eyes shut, the more that you read, the more things you will know. The more things that you learn, the more places you'll go. You just need to find the right book to fall in love with reading and my crew of reviewers are here to help. Catch, did you know that the very first book ever published specifically for children was a religious book called Spiritual Milk for Boston Babes way back in 1656 by an American church minister called John Cotton. There were no pictures and it was all in black and white. That's incredible. I discovered that listening to Amanda and Bryce's Shortcut to Book Week podcast where they also count down the top 20 children's books of all time. There's a link in the episode notes if you want to take a listen later. Anyway, enough chit-chat. Let's hear from your crew. Let's hear about some books and get reading. Who from my crew is with us this month? You know the drill. Each month we feature two books, one that's aimed at kids in year three and up called a junior book and one for kids in year five and above called middle grades. This month's Middle Grades book has the wonderful title Malamander, an eerie on sea book by Thomas Taylor. Yay! Take it away, reviewers. This month's Middle Grade book. Hi, my name is Annabelle. I am 10 years old and I live in Kingaroy in Queensland. My name is Zied. I'm 12 years old and I live in New South Wales, Australia. Hi. My name's Molly. I'm 12 years old and I live in Newcastle. Do you love a book about fantasy, but mystery as well? Well, if so, this is the perfect book for you. Malamander, an eerie on sea mystery, written by Thomas Taylor. Herbie Lemon, despite being 12, has a peculiar job in the Grand Nautilus Hotel as the lost and founder, where he finds lost things and returns them to his their owners. One day, Herbert finds a girl named Violet who is around about the same age. She claims she cannot find her parents and needs Herbie's help. The mystery gets a whole lot deeper when the Malamander, a fish-like beast, gets involved. A mysterious attack soon follows on after that. You'll have to read more to see how the story unfolds. This book kept me engaged and wanting to keep turning the pages. One part that I didn't like was that it was a little bit complicated at the start, but it all makes sense eventually. I loved the plot. It had had very extraordinary twists. The Malamanda was described so well, I could picture it in my mind so vividly. The book is such a page-turner, I couldn't stop reading. I felt as though this book always drew me back, and I always wanted to read it because it was so interesting. I also learnt from this book that you can't judge a book by its cover, because often looks can be deceiving. If you like fantasy and adventure, then you should go and read this eerie on sea adventure, Melamander, today. Wow! Thank you so much for sharing. That was such a great review. 
I made the mistake of reading this one under the covers by Torchlight. It was very creepy. And teachers, the fabulous team at Walker Books, have created some excellent activities to go with this book. Come to think of it, they'd be great for school holidays too. And if you don't know what a coprolite is, get ready for a surprise. The book trailer and links are in the episode notes. Next up, we're going to hear from our junior reviewers. They've been reading Solve Your Own Mystery, The Monster Maker, written by Gareth P. Jones and illustrated by Louise Forshaw. If you've always wanted to take charge of the story, get ready to be the boss. Let's hear all about it. I'm so happy to have you. This month's junior book. Hi, my name's Matilda and I'm 11 years old. Hi, my name is Toby. I'm nine years old and live in Adelaide, SA. Hi, my name is Maeve. I'm nine years old and I live in Kensington in Victoria. Hi, my name is Hayley. I'm six years old and I live in Sydney. Can a yeti and a human work together to solve a mystery? In Solve Your Own Mystery, The Monster Maker by Gareth P. Jones, you team up with a yeti find the missing monster maker. In this book, you, the reader, have to solve a mystery. I know, it sounds crazy, but it's true. Usually, books only have one storyline, but this one has more than one, and you get to choose which one you take. This is a mystery slash choose your own adventure blend that I would recommend for eight to nine year olds. You might go to school for the unusually gifted or a mad scientist lab or a creepy pizzeria. I really enjoyed this book and the characters. Some of the characters are a bit scary to me, like the goblins, the zombie clan and the vampires. This book made me feel I was right there in the action, that I was a real detective. Overall, this book wasn't for me. I want a big murder mystery, not a stolen item. I enjoyed the book so much that when I read it before bed, I had dreams about it. I like this three out of five magnifying glasses because I like the complicated plot and how you could go back to different stages of the books. I really had the feeling that the book was talking to me. If you like mystery, fun-loving animals and magic societies, then Solve Your Own Mystery, The Monster Baker is the book for you. Oh my goodness, that's incredible. Thank you so much. If you love deciding which dangerous and death-defying adventures to take the characters on, Gareth P. Jones has more Solve Your Own Mystery books to keep you sleuthing. Catch, if kids have been listening and want to join your crew of reviewers, all they need to do is go to squizkids.com.au forward slash book underscore club, click on the green button to sign up and send us a quick recording telling us all about their favourite book. Oh, and then wait by the mailbox for their book to arrive. We received this recording from Vivan, who clearly loves reading and is the newest member of your crew. I'm sure we'll be hearing a review from Vivan very soon. It's such a pleasure to meet all of these amazing book reviewers. A special review from Catcher's Crew. Hi, my name is Vivan and I live in Birch Grove, Sydney. I am 10 years old but turning 11 in November. I love books so much that once I've woken up, I brush my, and when I've brushed my teeth and all that, I just sit on the couch and then start reading a book. Wow! And my parents say, no, Vivan, you have to go to school. Yep. So I'm like, okay, and I just put on my uniform, go to school. But I always arrive a little earlier, and before school there's always some free time. I just sit down and just start reading a book again. Yay! If I were to take two books to a deserted island, it would probably be Wings of Fire 6 and The Wizards of Once. Um, The Wizards of Once because it's very nice and um, fun. And, and The Wings of Fire 6 because it is very exciting and um, also very mysterious. 
Thank you so much for sharing. Wow, Vivan, that was great. Thank you. And thanks so much to all our brilliant reviewers this month. You did a splendiferous job. They sure did. It takes a bit of bravery to record your voice for more than 100,000 kids to listen to. You guys were awesome. Don't forget, if you want to join my crew of reviewers, just follow the links in your episode notes to apply. See you next month, crew. Happy reading. In the meantime, get out there and have a most excellent day. Over and out. Squeeze Kids Book Club is proudly supported by Walker Books.